Good morning. We are here in Langkawi on our second adventure day and we are currently gonna head to the Seven Wells Waterfall, baby. Get to the Seven Wells waterfall area. It's right next to the cable car, so we knew the exact route. Look at these monkeys. Hey, look at its balls. Oh, oh my gosh. Yep. Oh. <laughs> they're trying to. They're in the trash. They're crazy. What do you guys think you're doing? Don't be diddy. All right. Don't be diddy. Just saw a monkey eating out of McDonald's trash, opening the bags and eating french fries and I think it's because it's raining season so they're having a hard time finding food in yeah, the forest. This thing's eating plastic. No, he's not. He's opening it up. He's, he licks it to see if there's anything in it. Please do not feed the monkey and I'm gonna try Malay. Dillering, membere, manye, makanan. I know makanan. So that means food. The parking guy didn't show up so we get it free. And now we're walking up this steep hill to the waterfall. This keeps going, and going, and going. So we're at the top right now, and here's a bridge to overlook it. Starts all the way up there. There's like little pools you could chill in. Anna's down there near a pool. It drops off right there. And the cool thing about it is the cable car you can see right from here. There it is. Just so you know, if you're thinking about coming here, it's 8.30 a.m. right now, and there's only like two other people here, or three other people, so it's not packed at all. And the reason for that is probably because it's not hot yet, and these pools are a little bit cooler, so. That's not stopping me. I'm going in full force, belly and all. Okay, so I just went down the water slide for the first time, and honestly, I was a little scared. Like, the thing is, this is a weird, real waterfall. Luckily, there's a fence at the end, so you can't fall down but the water rushes fast. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Anyways, I'm gonna take you down with a GoPro now to show you what it's all about. I'm, I'm, I'm literally scared again. All right, ready? just seen there I like got stuck in the whirlpool at the end of the slide it was flipping crazy guys it's kind of scary out here and Ian and I are the only ones so we really got to be careful I think I want to show you where this whirlpool is so you understand what happened you see it right there Woo. Woo. now it's Ian's turn oh gosh I'm a lifeguard so I know CPR so scared he has no idea what he's in for. Is it crazy? It's pretty crazy. Is it in to go? Yeah, you just go. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. scary right when you do it for the first time but you just gotta let it take you you might get hurt for the first time but you just gotta keep trying until you get it right oh my gosh 
first of all, Anna falling was one of the most <laughs> funny things. It's almost as funny as two days ago when she fell off the motorbike. Oh, I'm so embarrassing. <laughs> but this place is the most fun we've had in a while. We yeah. love the natural water slides. And it's 9.30 a.m. right now. We had this place to ourselves for about an hour. Big tips, the water is not that cold. Yeah. There's no sun out right now, it's cloudy, and it's not that warm out. Come before 9.30. Get here by 7.30 a.m. and get up here. You'll not regret it. I wish I could start every day this way. I was like, let's just come back tomorrow. Because <laughs> it's just like a wake up, you know, refreshing yes. water, and like you're going down a slide. This it's is fast slide. I think that's the key thing because we've done a really big rock water slide in North Carolina but it wasn't this fast. Like this one is like a bullet. and you're It's crazy so and it's free. Everything. That's a gosh it's another tip. It's free. We didn't have to pay for parking. If you come early you don't have to pay for parking. Funny thing is that was only the top of the waterfall. Now we're headed all the way down to the base and we're gonna see what's down there. We are just arriving at the base of the waterfall. It looks like a lot of fun. Look at this thing. Oh my, holy shit. This thing is massive. It goes so high. And the water flow right now is insane because it's been raining recently. This is amazing. That's where we just were up there playing. I think it's raining a little bit, but it's beautiful. We got some families playing down there. Anna's face is in awe. Hey, everyone watching this, let's let's comment down below and let's say woot woot for the waterfall, baby. Woo! That's pretty beast mode. Holy shit. Locals here are jumping off the rocks. Here we go. Let's see what they're going to do. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Whoa! Holy shit. That was crazy. I didn't know what he was doing. I was like, what the? Wow. I'm so scared. That was awesome. Professional cliff jumper, Adriana Ivkovic, on her first jump near the beautiful waterfall. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Good job. Anna, what did you think about the cliff jumping? because we were ready to leave because it was cold and kind of raining and then we just saw these guys jumping and we're like well now we have to jump because if your friend jumps off of a cliff would you do it too yes mom and dad we would do it too this seven wells waterfall is one of the best we've ever seen it is so beautiful you get to swim you get to cliff jump as you saw i don't know how that guy jumped that far all right we're running back if you watched in the video anna had an apple watch on when she was cliff jumping and now she doesn't have it, so it's definitely at the bottom. The locals found it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You're the best. You'll be on YouTube. I can't believe they found it. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah, we gave you the card up there. Yeah, you'll be on it. Hey, thank you for finding a watch. This is the man that found it. I shouldn't have jumped with my watch. Hey, I don't know how they found it. They're so nice. Love them here. We love you, Malaysia. Woot woot! Shout out to anyone running Lane Cali and their tourism board. Do not litter. And here we go. We're going to go over a couple things. Banana peel, three to four weeks to decompose. Up here is outrageous. A cigarette butt is 10 to 12 years, and you see people throwing cigarette butts everywhere. Plastic bottle, 450 years. And then last but not least, the worst culprit, plastic bags, 200 to 1,000 years to decompose. I'm getting a vegetarian burrito. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm getting some chicken fried rice because I'm basic. We just got our food, chicken fried rice, basic Ian. And I got the first time getting a veggie burrito over here. It's basically like a Caesar salad. Super good. I, I'm, so, I'm so excited because I kind of miss having like fresh veggies and stuff and like lettuce. Oh. We left our helmets out when it was raining and we totally forgot they were face up. So now they're soaking and there's thunder. What do we do? I don't know. Rainy season is hard, guys. It is hard. All right, so we just let the rain pass and we hung out at our Airbnb and relaxed and made some videos. We're gonna head to Eagle Square, which is a famous point here on Langkawi Island, and we're gonna get some food too. 
I'm feeling Arabic food. We just arrived to Eagle Square. We don't really know what to expect, but Ian just got some crazy drone footage. So already I'm excited we came because it is free and the eagle looks awesome. The above view, you see that it's a star. So why is it called Eagle Square? It should be called Eagle Star. You can see the eagle in the distance, but right here is a needle. Kind of looks like a UFO with a needle sticking out. Someone explain that to me down in the comments, please. Look at the size of Anna. Now look at the eagle. Boom. I think Holly didn't just put a massive eagle here for fun. Anna has a few things to tell you guys. Okay, so from my Google research, my brief Google research, correct me if I'm wrong, but this statue is an emblem to represent the island of Langkawi because as legend has it, Langkawi stems from two Malay words. The first is Halang, which means eagle. H-E-L-A-N-G, so the Lang is for Lang Kawi. And then the second part is Kawi, which means brownish red. And that's why it's a brown red eagle. Ooh. And I don't know how big it is. I, I quickly just looked that up and I couldn't just figure it out. So let me know how big it is, but. My guess is 10 meters, that's my guess. I really enjoyed it, I did. It's just, you go see the eagle and you leave. It's a quick thing, but. It's free too, which is awesome. It's free. Yeah, compared to the cable car, I think it, it it's great, honestly. Look at the babies. There's so many of them. Oh my gosh. Oh, hide. It's okay. They're going in the sewers. Oh, one's under the car. They're so scared. Come on. They're shaking. They're shaking. Food time. Let's go. One of our favorite things about this island is there's a lot of Arabic food. And the first night we were here, we had Alhamdulillah's restaurant. We really, really enjoyed it. So we're back for some more. And it's a four minute drive from Eagle Square. So if you're by Eagle Square and you like hummus and all that stuff, this is a great stop for you. We cook fresh for the order. This is why we take a, we took a little bit time a customer way. But in our opinion, it should be worth the waiting. Oh, it is. Plus one more thing. Since my wife cook, we match the same flavor in Syria. So, no cheating. If you know Arabic food, you will give me thumb up. Rami. Last time I got a very expensive meal, I didn't even realize, but it's 29 RM. I know, I know, but it's so, so good. This is the first time we tried chicken shawarma and it was the best thing ever. I get a uh, Syrian falafel and it's only 15 RM. It's delicious and it comes with like a side of salad, which is really refreshing. But as you know, my dad is from Serbia, which is in Europe, and my mom, her roots are from Lebanon, and so is Ian's mom. We're both 25% Lebanese, so we love Arabic food, but last time we were here, the owner was telling us, Syria, Lebanon, it's all the same, like, because it was all one country before, and it was just really sweet. Here it is. Chicken shawarma with rice. Yes. This is everything, guys. We got chicken shawarma, we got the Syrian rice, which is to die for. Falafel. Falafel. Salad. Hummus. And you know, Look how good that hummus is. Hummus lovers, you're probably drooling out there. But this is why we love it. I'm not kidding. If you are in Lane Cowie looking for a nice dinner near Eagle Square, it is so good. This is how Lebanese people eat. You always have a little pita, you put a little rice, a little hummus, whatever you got. You put it all together. I just put a little lettuce. Finger food, baby. Finger food. The best kind of food. Yeah. Okay, this is an epidemic. I don't know if all you Malaysians are like Amaral. Amaral was our tour guide on the Kinabatan River. He's never tried hummus in his life. I hope that isn't like all you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and comment below. Thanks and good night. Oh, also sorry that Ian didn't do his. Yippee.